Hello everyone, this is Dragonfly. Welcome back to another DCS World mission playthrough in the AV-8B Harrier. Uh, for today's mission, I wanted to show a little bit about how to use a, a JTAC in conjunction with the uh, automatic targeting handling system, the ATHS system, the data link system in the uh, Harrier uh, that JTACs can basically upload targeting information directly into the aircraft. And so to do that, we're going to use a previous mission that we've flown. Um, we're sitting here at the FARP, and we received a call from the JTAC that uh, a uh, artillery battery was uh, moving into position, and it looked like it may be starting a firing mission. And uh, so we immediately loaded up with two GBU 38s, 500-pound JDAMs, and a targeting pod. Um, the locals still need the highways surrounding the FARP, so we're going to wind up uh, doing a vertical takeoff out of here and uh, going over and uh, seeing if we can help the JTAC out. So with the two GBU-38s, we can carry about 3,600 pounds of gas, which gives us a gross weight of about 20,000 pounds. I'll go ahead and put a bingo in here of about 2,000. Now, we want to contact the uh, JTAC here on the ground just uh, since we can. He's on 234. And we're using the uh, DCS JTAC, so we'll go into the uh, DCS menu, the F9 menu. F1 will check Wind in for 15 one, minutes. One. This is Dodge 111. Golf, Golf 2272 two, and 22. Armed with GBU 38. Time on station is 0 plus 15. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? It takes a minute or two for. Not, no, I'm not that long, but uh, it takes a few seconds for him to return the call. Dodge 111. One. This is Whiplash 111. One. Type 2 in effect. Ready to ready copy. To copy. Line is as follows. One, two, three, NA. Three hundred and fifty feet MSL. Artillery. Kilo. Mike. Eight, two, one, eight, nine, nine. Mark by laser. One, six, eight, eight. Southeast. Eighteen thousand. Egress. East. Advisement ready for remarks and further talk on. Ready to copy remarks. Request GBU-38. Three hundred fifty. Kilo Mike. A two one eight nine nine. Readback correct. Report IP inbound. Okay. We've gone up to the point where we're going to report the IP inbound. Now, if you'll notice, there's a flashing message light up on the uh, HUD. And this is what I just learned recently, so I thought we'd learn it together. That means that you have a message on the cast page for uh, target coordinates. So we go into the menus, into the cast page, and you see the nine line information that he uh, just gave us is all put into the cast page. But if we go over to the recall page, which shows all the records of our targets, we see that it's in there, but it has not been assigned to a target. It has to have a T and a number behind it before it's assigned to a target. So for us to do that, we go back to the cast page, just hit the use OSB, it doesn't light, it doesn't box, and go over the, to the upfront controller, hit one, enter and T1 comes up showing that that targeting record that we had selected has been assigned to T1 okay so now we can use it to put it into the uh, bomb so let's go to the stores page hit J82 go up to the ODU to the targets 
select number one, hit targets again, hit targets again, exit, and the information has been put in to the bomb and also into the EHSD. It automatically pops it up into the data page, which we don't want, so we can go ahead and unbox that. Go ahead and waypoint increment over to T1. Hit designate. In this T1, it shows us exactly where the route of flight is. It's 059 at 31 miles. Okay. So we've got our navigation information in there to be able to, to navigate to the target. Put the EW page back up. And let's go ahead and take off. Two degrees nose down the stab trim, 82 degrees nozzles, uh, STO on the uh, flaps, and the uh, water is on. Parking brake is off, and away we go. Power coming smoothly up. Slowly bring the witch's hat up toward the horizon. Start milking the uh, nozzles forward to get some air speed. Air speed's increasing. Don't want the uh, flight path vector to go below the horizon. Once we get to 120 knots, it'll be gear up water off, gear up, water off, and now flaps up to auto, nozzles continuing to zero, which is hat into the pitches carrot, pitch carrots, and uh, power the throttle back below 100%. We're turning to heading a 0.56. Climbing up to about 15,000 feet, be a high altitude drop. Okay, we're headed the, uh, towards the target. And I'll go ahead and fence in. Master arm on, air ground, master HUD mode on. You can see, because we have hit the designate button, all of our uh, symbology for the uh, drop have come up and you can see that in one here a target is assigned to the bomb let's go ahead and put the fuse to instantaneous 26 miles we'll call ip inbound about 10 miles out from the target This little dot here is also is a steering dot as well as the lubber line in this case. Just checking to make everything, make sure everything is set up. Yes, we're in auto mode, instantaneous. And we do have the symbology on the EHSD. This is the max range for the bomb we can drop. And the min range is actually kind of covered up by that triangle. That's the targeting target itself, the targeting point, the diamond. Started to get our range arc. That'll come down and once it's below the uh, max range carrot, we'll start getting our accuracy counter to count up and we'll get an in-range cue. When the accuracy counter is probably about 80%, we'll go ahead and drop the bomb. And we'll go ahead and go on up to 20,000 since we've got enough room to do it. And you can see the uh, heading dot goes into the center of the circle once you level off. Autopilot on. And 
throttle keeps creeping up. Let's bring it back to about 90%. See the accuracy counter counting up 35 36 in range Q. Call IP inbound. Dodge 1 1 IP inbound. Dodge 1 1 continue. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and drop. Pickle. Bombs away. Caution. Caution. Autopilot's off. I'm turning off here. Pull back around a little bit. Autopilot on. Out Caution. Of Caution. Yep. Let's make sure we've got it all trimmed up. Caution. Caution. Autopilot on. Caution. Uh, caution. Okay. We'll just leave it that way. Six. Caution. 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 Get rid of that caution. caution. Now we'll watch the bomb. Actually, I had to take one of the artillery pieces out of the mission because the JTAC was uh, pointing into the middle of the group rather than in an individual unit. Shaq, nice job. And that's how to use the automatic targeting handling system. And I'll go ahead and come back and do a vertical landing at the far point. stall I can see the uh, little island that I like to point at on the coast there, so I'll start heading that way. I'll also put the tack in, select the tack in. 231 at 16 miles. And we do have that extra JDAM, which I am going to drop to keep the, the uh, Dragonfly Warhorse out of And that was uh, Warhorse congratulating us. Okay, and so jettison that extra JDAM. Check our weight for a vertical landing. We're at uh, 17,000, so yeah, that's good. Make sure the nozzle stop is clear. go out to the coast and uh, turn around and do an overhead pattern. down to about 800 feet. We'll start slowing down to 350 here. Start our turn back around towards the FARP. There's the road to our farm. Yeah, 
in the brake. Slow into 250 of beam our landing point so that we can configure. Turn into 260 the reciprocal heading of our initial. Okay, beam the landing point gear down, water flaps all the way down to stow and nozzles to 60. Start our turn. A little power to catch the uh, drop as the airspeed drops down. down to about 325 feet. Trimming the witch's hat up. And I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, nozzles to 82. About 40 knots. And we're down. Throttles up to 10 degrees, the water off, flaps up. Nose will steering on. Caution, caution. Caution, caution. Stop, parking brakes on. Airplane looks good. Check our results. Scored 15, killed one vehicle. The results were 100% mission effective. Well, thanks for uh, this, being here for this short mission. I uh, hope you learned something. I, I, I did. I didn't really understand the automatic targeting uh, handling system, so it was uh, fun to do a mission using it. Well, until next time, Dragonfly out.